Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to be talking about titrations. So our goal is to be able to use the titration equation that we're going to be able to learn to find volume or molarity of an acid or base. And you're going to need to be able to look at a titration graph and use it to answer questions. So we'll get to all of that. Let's first learn what a titration is. So a, a titration is a process where you are adding an acid to a base, or it could be the other way around. So you could be adding a base to an acid. And you're doing this to find out an unknown concentration. So when you do a titration, at some point, you're going to have added enough acid to the base that the moles of acid are equal to the moles of base. So the acid and base are completely neutralized. That is called the equivalence point. So that is the point where the moles of acid are equal to the moles of base. And the acid or base is neutralized. And once you reach equivalence point, if you record the volume of acid and base that it took you to get there, you can use that to calculate the molarity of the acid or base that you don't know. And you use an equation that looks like this. It's Ma B A equals M B V B. So this looks a lot like the dilution equation, if you remember that, but it's the molarity of the acid times the volume of the acid at equivalence point equals the molarity of the base times the volume of the base at equivalence point. So let's just write down what these different variables are. So M A is the molarity of the acid VA is the volume of the acid. MB is the molarity of the base. And finally, VB is the volume of the base. And just as an aside, when you're doing a titration, let's say we're starting with a base and we're adding an acid to it, usually both the acid and the base are clear liquids. So we would add an indicator. Often the indicator we will add would be phenothalene. Um, it's colorless when something is an acid, but as soon as the solution becomes basic, phenothalene starts to turn pink. Uh, so if we're starting with an unknown acid and we're adding a base to it, uh, we might put phenothalene in our acid and then we'd start adding base and we'd keep adding it until the phenothalene starts to turn a really, really slight pink color because then we would know all of the acid had been neutralized and then we would be able to figure out our volumes that we need to solve this problem. <coughs> so let's look at an example. This says if 22.5 milliliters of sodium hydroxide is necessary, to neutralize 18.5 milliliters of 0 0.1430 molarity HNO3 solution, what is the concentration of NaOH? So we have a bunch of numbers here. Let's figure out which numbers are which and what part of the equation we need to solve for. Because in these types of problems, we're going to get three of these variables and then one will be x that we will be solving for. So let's write out on the side, we've got MaVa mb and vb so let's start with this 22.5 milliliters it says 22.5 milliliters of naoh so that has an oh on it that means that this is the base because oh is hydroxide and that is produced by bases 
So let's put VB is 22.5 milliliters. And it's necessary to neutralize 18.5 milliliters of this molarity of acid. So this milliliters, this 18.5 milliliters is the volume of our acid. So 18.5 milliliters. And then the 0 0.1430 molarity HNO3, that is the molarity describing the acid. So this is gonna be MA. So 0 0.1430 molarity. And then it's asking us for the concentration of sodium hydroxide, which is the base. So it's asking us for MB. So at this point, once we've figured out all of our variables, the problem is fairly simple to solve. We just need to plug everything in into MABA equals MBVB. So MA is 0 0.1430, VA is 18.5, MB is X, and VB is 22.5. So we can simplify this side a little bit. And this can be 2.6455 when we multiply these equals 22.5x. Let's divide by 22.5 to get x by itself. And we end up with x equals 0 0.12 molarity. So that would be the concentration of our base. And that makes sense because we need a little bit more base than acid to neutralize the acid. Um, and the base is just a little bit less concentrated than the acid. So that makes a lot of sense. Let's finally look at a titration graph. So sometimes when you're doing a titration, you might make a graph of how the pH changes as you start adding, say, the base to the acid. So in this case, it says we're adding 0 0.10 molarity NaOH to 50 milliliters of HCl. And as you can see, the pH is very acidic to start out with because we're starting out with just hydrochloric acid. As we add the base, the pH doesn't change a ton until suddenly it just shoots up. That's where we reach equivalence point. That's where suddenly there's enough base to neutralize the acid. And so the solution suddenly becomes basic really, really quickly. And this is how titration graphs always look. There's always like a pretty steep um, upward trend, right, when you get to equivalence point. So this question says, use the graphs on the left to determine how much the pH rose between adding 40 milliliters of NaOH and 50 milliliters of NaOH. So right here, this is where we added 40 milliliters of NaOH. And right here, this is where we've added 50 milliliters. So to me, it looks like the pH goes from two all the way up to four in that 10 milliliter change. So the pH goes up by two because it goes from two up to four. All right, so that is titrations. We learned about using a graph to answer questions and using the titration equation to solve for a missing concentration.